Hello everyone, welcome back to 2230, your go-to channel for in-depth discussions on news and politics in the Asian region. Today, we're diving into a recent announcement by the Central Provident Fund, CPF, board regarding new measures aimed at protecting individuals from falling victim to scammers. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest developments in the region. Now, let's unpack these new measures. The CPF board has introduced a daily default withdrawal limit of 2,000 Singapore dollars for members aged 55 and above. This is a significant step in safeguarding CPF savings against fraudulent withdrawals. The limit can be adjusted online, ranging from 0 Singapore dollars to 200,000 Singapore dollars. However, any increases beyond the default limit are subject to SingPass face verification, SFV, and a 12-hour cooling period to prevent unauthorized adjustments. For an extra layer of security, members have the option to disable online withdrawals altogether by activating the CPF withdrawal lock. This immediately sets the online daily withdrawal limit to zero Singapore dollars, requiring withdrawals to be made in person at CPF service centers. To reverse this and enable online withdrawals again, members must increase their daily withdrawal limit, a process also subject to SFV and a 12-hour waiting period. The CPF board emphasizes that these measures are crucial in today's environment to safeguard CPF savings against the ever-evolving tactics of scammers. In addition to the withdrawal limits, members updating their contact details with the CPF board will now be subject to SFV in the 12-hour cooling period starting from November 30th. Looking ahead, from December 31, 2023, changes to bank account details will also be subject to SFV. New bank accounts will only be activated after the bank confirms ownership by the member, a process that may take up to two working days. While these precautions may cause some inconvenience, the CPF board urges members to understand that it's better to be safe than sorry. Remember, as CPF members, you will receive notifications via SMS or email when making withdrawals, updating your daily withdrawal limit, or changing contact or bank account details. Stay vigilant against scammers and their tactics. If you suspect any fraudulent activity, contact the CPF board immediately, freeze your bank accounts, reset your SingPass password, and set your CPF daily withdrawal limit to $0. Don't forget to make a police report promptly. That's it for today's update. Share your opinions on these measures in the comments below. Do you think these safeguards are sufficient, or do you have additional suggestions? Like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging discussions on news and politics in the Asian region. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe.